move over, Mystic Ryan. Move over all you PlayStation channels because there's a new sheriff in town. All right, I'm the king of PlayStation YouTube. I'm the king of Xbox, YouTube, Sega, mini PCs, weird handhelds, but I'm not a Nintendo YouTuber. But yesterday on the channel, I made a video talking about the PlayStation 5 Slim models. A lot of controversy surrounding that. I want to go over some of the controversy. And then we're going to talk about PlayStation Premium because it still sucks. I think they think that they're doing better with it, but they're not. So we're going to talk about that on the channel as well. If this is your first time here, welcome. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and share the video around if you enjoy it. Or if you hate it and you could put it in some hate groups because a hate watch is still a watch, baby. Without any further ado, let's talk about what's going on. So yesterday, of course, we were introduced to this specimen of a system, the PlayStation 5 Slim Models, the PlayStation 5, and the Digital Edition. And in yesterday's video, I said it. I kind of like it like I like the way it looks okay it looks a hell of a lot better than this monstrosity I have over here of a PlayStation 5 this massive white brick you know they broke it up a little bit they made it a little bit more you know smaller it's smaller it's lighter you know it's more ergonomical I think it's a good looking system I, I don't think it's bad you know I like the little stripe thingy on the side here I like the fact that this is gloss and this is matte it's nice they break up the monotony this system I have right here is a monotonous ugly system of course we also learned about the fact that if you purchase the digital PlayStation 5 system you can actually attach a disk drive to it now down the road by buying an attachment for it this attachment is an $80 attachment you simply you know unplug the side piece of the PlayStation 5 slim model you put the disk drive in it looks like it just clips right in and then you put on this piece over it 80 bucks you're turning your digital PlayStation 5 slim into one that can read physical media so if down the road you think you know you buy the digital and you're like oh you know I don't wish I got the physical you don't have to trade in your digital to buy the physical you can actually make your digital into a physical system I love the idea because I'm someone who's always loved attachments for systems I think attachments get a bad rap because a lot of companies were doing some low quality ones over time but in theory in principle it's a good idea it elongates your system it allows you more options with your system and to do more things with your system it's just the fact that it hasn't really been implemented all that well as history would tell us but I love this idea. I think it's a super cool idea, but everyone's hung up on one thing with this. And it's something that I definitely understand. I kind of talked about it yesterday, but it's the price point because now the PlayStation 5 Digital Edition is going up in price. It is going up from $400 to $450, meaning that if you buy this detachable drive, you're now looking at uh, like $520, $530 and then taxes on this system in order to make it a physical system. So a lot of people are upset by this. They're also upset that this little stand and here is $30 if you want to stand it up horizontally. I think that's stupid as hell. <laughs> like, that's the stupidest thing in the world. That stand can kiss my ass. Look, just put it on the ground, bro. I put my PlayStation 5 on the ground horizontally. No stand because I'm a gangster. Be a gangster, too. But a lot of people are hung up on the price about this. Why is the price going up of this system? Because older generations know that as systems get older, they usually go down in price. That's how it's always been. But there's been a shift with that. Like it used to be like a year after a system came out, steep price drop. You know, two years after a system comes out, an even steeper price drop. But one thing, and I'm not trying to justify this or anything because I do think it's BS, but maybe some of the reasoning behind the historical video game consoles versus the modern video game consoles and the way that the pricing stuff works is because of this. When you look at how video games were at that time, there were so many different systems out there. Think about the mid 90s. You had a 3DO, a Sega Saturn, a Sega 32X, a Sega Genesis, a Super Nintendo, an Atari Jaguar. Did I say 3DO? If I didn't say 3DO, I'm gonna say it again. You had a PlayStation 1. You had all these systems, the Neo Geo, all these systems. You had all these systems, so they were all competing against each other. In the modern era, you have three companies. You have PlayStation, Xbox, and you have Nintendo, all of which do very different things. Speaking of Nintendo, look at the Nintendo Switch. It's coming up on its seventh year. It's still $300 for the base model. Still the same price as it launched at. They, incre they, they introduced another model for $350. And then if you wanted a cheaper one, they did the Switch Lite that doesn't connect to a television. So it's basically just a handheld for $199.99. So 
I think it's just a shift of the video game marketplace. For Sony, it looks bad because they are constantly raising the price of services and stuff like that, which we're going to get into in just a minute. And charging for the stand is stupid. But I also think that this is for like a different audience. You know, this is for people who don't have a PlayStation 5 who maybe want some of the options. I do think that if this system would have been $400, nobody would be talking about it. And they probably should have done it that way. They probably should have done it where the digital edition is $400, make the disc attachment $120, and then people don't give a damn. Nobody gives a shit about that. They're like, oh, you know, that's cool. You know, it's a better looking system. So I don't know. I just wanted to sort of you know give a little bit of a different perspective than what a lot of people are having with this because i feel like there's there's a bigger conversation to be had as to why things are like this you know if you don't want it don't buy it and hopefully other people will see it your way and prices will come down but the problem is prices don't seem to be coming down on anything if anything they seem to be going up so who knows man i just wanted to talk about that controversy though because i've seen so many people just like so mad and so many people were mad at me they were like oh, i can't believe you weren't mad about this it's like I'm not the audience. I got a PlayStation 5. I have no reason to upgrade to this. But, you know, as you know, as, as kind as I potentially was to Sony on that sort of stuff, this this PlayStation Plus nonsense. Absolute nonsense. This service sucks, and you raise the price of it, you are out of your damn mind. Out of your damn mind. Because here are the games coming to PlayStation Plus in month of October. Gotham Knights, Disco Elysium, the Dark Pictures. Okay, like these, these aren't terrible games. Let me get this out of the way. Outlast 2. I love Outlast 2. Outlast 2 is one of the best horror games of all time. Dead Island Definitive Edition fun game alien isolation great game disco elysium a very highly rated game gotham knights that game absolutely sucks ass thank you spawn so your stupid spawn wave okay this is the spawn wave nobody sees you see this nice guy who's a little he used to have glasses now he doesn't have glasses shoulders slightly shifted to the side no hey, hold on let me, let me go full screen for this shoulders slightly shifted to the side mouth slightly agape on his thumbnails everyone is the same he just changes his shirt and he does the same picture every day at least i just use, reuse pictures but this son of a bitch is like hey we should play gotham knights it's on game pass now i'm like oh have you played it before yeah yeah you might like it okay this game sucks gotham knights is terrible terrible and i'm a huge batman fan you could have batman taking a dump in the woods 64 as a simulation game and i'd be like oh yeah it's batman i booted it up as batgirl i like batgirl i think she's a cool character the game is crap the game is absolute crap, but Spawn Wave makes me waste time downloading it. I hate him with all every fiber of my being. But these are the PlayStation Plus games available for the month. And I never really care about these because usually they're kind of similar to Xbox. I use my Xbox more so for third party stuff, but I am interested in the in the retro games because you know they're supposed to be PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, PlayStation or PSP games on here. A lot of fun stuff. Well, let's take a look at the stellar lineup of games here for us premium members because we're, we're the ones spending the big bucks here. We're the ones spending the big money. I'm sure we're going to get some classics. Tekken 6, not not the worst game ever. You know, it's a PSP game. It's It's okay. You know, there's better Tekkens out there, but, you know, okay, uh, okay, um, Soul Calibur Broken Destiny, another PSP game, like, all right, you know, I'm sure there's gonna be some, some PS2 bangers on here, don't, don't worry, Ape Escape Academy, and another, another PSP game, Ape Escape, remember Ape Escape? Sony doesn't remember Ape Escape because there hasn't been a new Ape Escape in a long time, but Ape Escape used to be hanging out with, uh, the big, with, uh, Big Boss, and, uh, Boss, Solid Snake. You know, Naked Snake, Metal Gear Solid 3. Nobody remembers that. And IQ Final? What is that? What are we, what? You raise, you, look at me. Look in my face. You raise the price of this service. Substantially. This is not an incremental price upgrade. This is a substantial upgrade. You haven't done a goddamn thing to increase the value oh wait wait rgt wait they did increase the value they did what are you talking about what are you talking look they added cloud streaming for plus premium members you have to be a member of premium to access cloud streaming now i don't hate 
cloud streaming of stuff because I have to use it because going back to stupid spawn wave, he makes me try to download these games that suck and I don't want to download them and waste time downloading them. So I play them on the cloud on my Xbox. But what they're doing is they're, they're launching cloud streaming for PlayStation Plus premium members, essentially saying that now games that are in the PlayStation Plus game catalog and game trials, as well as supported titles in the game library that you own can now be like streamed via the cloud. And you got some options here. You can do 4K, you know, top hits. Like, what's the point of this? Like, I, I guess it's kind of kind of nice but i don't understand the point is this your perceived added value is this what you're doing to add value to your amazing playstation plus premium service because playstation plus premium it's the biggest ripoff you could say whatever whatever you want about nintendo and i would agree with you with the nintendo switch online because that sucks but at least with the nintendo switch online i'm only paying 20 dollars a year or 50 dollars a year because of the you know the um the added bonus games at least that's all i'm paying you gotta pay 80 bucks just to play your playstation 5 online so i think this is kind of a perfect storm of elements with the ra rising of the price of the playstation 5 slim digital edition with the rise of playstation plus premium services going up in price and the quality substantially going down it's an interesting time at sony man it's it's weird but PlayStation Plus Premium, when my premium runs out, that is it, boys. I am done. I don't even play my PlayStation 5 online like that. They don't make any online games quite yet. I thought I was going to be playing Factions 2 because I liked The Last of Us 1's multiplayer on the PlayStation 3. It was different. It was fun. It was somewhat unique. But they, it seems like that's been canceled. So what the hell are we doing? Why am I paying for online if I'm not using the damn thing? Yeah. Anyways, guys. That's what's going on in the world of PlayStation. As the PlayStation King, I had to bring you this information. Let me know what you think of everything in the comments section down below. And as always, guys, thank you for checking out this video. Screw Spawn Wave! And as always, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Later.